Welcome, everybody, to the Eastern Shore. Welcome to the Big Shot Lanes. My name is Frank Cameron, and uh, we're here this afternoon to bring you an uh, exciting afternoon of, of candle pin bowling. My co-host with me is Norma Hilchey. Hello, everybody. And we have uh, what we call King of the Hill. Uh, most of you have hopefully have heard about it through our advertising and, 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 and the uh, efforts that we've, we've put into bringing everybody here today. Uh, we're running two divisions in the King of the Hill, a, a B and a section. And the B section, which we'll be showing first, is everybody uh, with 115 average and less. Uh, your A section, of course, will be 115 and over. We've narrowed it down to a field of four in each division. And in our uh, first uh, format here, the, the number four bowler will bowl the number three finisher, and the winner of that match will go on to bowl the number two, and the winner of that match will go on to bowl the winner of number one. Great. And uh, let me introduce the uh, number four finisher in uh, Safnews B match, which was uh, Glenn Neal. Uh, and Jimmy Pitcher is lost. Uh, if we could have Jimmy Pitcher. Where is he? And uh, if we could uh, first get on with uh, Glenn Neal. Uh, the way this is going to work, Glenn is going to bowl his first uh, box of the first string on lane number six, and then he'll bowl over to number seven. This way we hope to bring you more of the action there at home, and we really hope you enjoy it. So if we could have... Uh, Glenn up on, yeah. on on the lane and get him started. Okay, now. Glenn, Glenn comes from uh, Dartmouth, I believe, isn't it, Norma? Uh, yes, you have this oh, stat no. sheet right in front of you there. Right there. Okay, we'll let you okay. uh, oh, bring us up to date on, on, oh yeah. All right. Get you to work right away here. Yeah, he, he doesn't come from Dartmouth. He comes from Sydney, Nova Scotia. Oh, sorry about that, Glenn. Yes. Glad to see you here. Yes, he was on the head pin there right away on that first uh, shot, Norma. Yeah. Yeah. He works at the Cape Breton Development Corporation. Well, and he's married. They, they've certainly been able to lay it Oh, oh what nice a nice spirit to start our program shot. off with a bang. Thank you, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Glenn is married and he has a daughter, two and a half years old. And he also likes, enjoys hockey and baseball. This is the first time uh, that I can remember of having a, a King of the Hill contest around here in quite some time, especially on, on television. I've seen it in the States a few times, and it's fairly popular down there. I want to see what Glenn does on the spear. Load her up. Oh, hey, oh what wow. What more than this? Let's <laughs> get beautiful. it rolling. It's lovely. That, it's got to have Jimmy yeah. Pitcher thinking, I'm sure. Yes. J Jimmy can handle it, though. Yeah. Jimmy Pitcher is a local from our Big Shot Lanes. And uh, he's an electrician, also married. Oh, and he punched out there on that oh, shot, dear. but he'll be back. He'll be yeah. back. A little bit oh, fine on the yeah. head pin there, Norm. Yeah. A little bit fine on the head pin there. I think he can get a 10 out of that, though. No, the wood's rolling away. Yeah, he's got the gap down there. Give him a good start for an eight. Yeah. Give him a good start for an yeah. eight. One of the reasons behind the format we're setting it up is to give the viewer at home uh, a, a more view of not only the bowler, but the oh. shots that he's going to make. A nice eight pin break there for... No, it's nine pins. No, it's eight. Yep. Sorry, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he comes. Back yeah. with a, he just missed it. He was onto it. He was very yeah. close to getting a spare there. Yeah. There he comes up with this. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. As I, said, as I mentioned earlier, Jim did finish third overall after our qualification round, which started at very early this morning. We started with a field of 28, wound that down to a field of 14, and then in the next round, we brought down to, to, uh, to the four finishers we have here now. Glenn's on us. Oh, he, oh he, bad <laughs> break. But he, he got a bonus ball now on that yeah. uh, strike that he had, That's remember? Right. So he's, he's going to come out of this uh, quite nicely. Yes. Neil bowls 114 average. Good average. Oh, oh and he found that quiet ball. Yeah. <laughs> Went through there very quietly. Yeah. At least he doesn't damage our pins up when he do that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Neil bowls, uh, Glenn bowls out of Heather Lanes in Sydney. Uh, uh, kind of a disappointing six box there, I'm sure, for Glenn. But uh, yeah. being the pro he is, I think he'll be right back. Oh, yes. He's not going home yet. 
<laughs> no. We did have a comment there earlier ago that Jimmy Pitcher kind of looked like Alex Trebek, but I don't know if that's really <laughs> true or not, is it? Well, we'll let oh, the yeah. viewers judge. We, we knew Glenn would be back on that hit yes. then, which he was. We're very pleased to see uh, Glenn come all the way up here to the Sydney, especially yes. for our uh, right. our King of the Hill format. Yeah, it's quite a big thing for Muscat and Harbor to have a big well, television show. We're very <laughs> pleased to reach out and oh, he oh, tried. That boy yeah. tried on that shot. Sure we, did. We, we can tell that. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Beautiful Jim. Boy, that, this is yeah, bowling very at good its shot. best. This is bowling yes. at its best, though. Yes. That's the Jimmy Pitcher. He's got to answer yeah. Glenn now with a, hopefully a mark of his own. Jimmy's a very well, explosive bowler, right. so yes, you, you, know, you certainly can't leave him in the, the back of your mind too yeah. long because he's going to go back there. They're very closely matched. Very. Uh, Jimmy has yeah. 112 average, so it's only a two point differential there. Right on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give a nice nine, nine for Jimmy. Give Stop. a nice nine for Jimmy. Jimmy's got quite a fan gathering here in the crowd, too, is yeah. really behind him. And now, does he really look like Alex Trebek? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let the viewers judge this, Jimmy's, eh? Jimmy's not quite on that head pin yet. Yeah. He's, he's kind of having a little tr uh, trouble oh, finding that head pin, which is a uh, very common yeah. uh, fault with a lot of bowlers. Oh, oh. He got robbed on that one, yeah. Way. He really got yeah. robbed on that shot. Yes, he hit that well. I'm sure the viewers at home would, uh, when they when they see those shots with the the wood yeah. blade across it, they yes, think it's going to go. Think it's going to go, <laughs> but it's not that easy. No, that's right. This is one of the uh, big things about candle pin bowl, and there's just every shot is mm. completely different. Yeah. You never know when you're right. you're going to have a, 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 a shot that you can make or or, or not. And yeah. When you're playing those deadwood. Uh, he, Glenn's really, uh, yes, right in really there. on that head pin. Yeah. I'm really impressed with this lad. Yes. Well, actually, we're kind of he glad to see him. came here to bowl. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm glad to see him uh, do quite well after yes, traveling that distance up here right. to, to be on our show. Yes. Oh, yeah, another spare. A Very nice good spare shot. For, yeah. For Glenn. I guess he wants some of our big shot money to take back so. down to Cape Breton. I think them. so. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, He's, he's uh, 59 open in the fifth, which is very respectable. Yes. Oh, yeah, lead back on oh, that head pin again. On when it. you're on that head pin, you're going to have yourself a good game. Well, I see here his high triple was 442, so well, I can, expect uh, big things. I, I can believe it. After seeing him on yeah. that head pin the way he is, I can well believe it. Let's and and his single one is 193. 193 single. Oh, wow, that's... There's another spare. Yeah. That's his fourth mark for the game, so he's he's rolling around quite well. Jimmy yeah. must Jimmy must kind of yeah, he answer mark him now. here. Oh, there he found yeah, that there front he, pin. Oh, wow. Got a break. There he comes. Is that the good old five pin left there, Norma? Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why they call it the king. Yeah. And there he goes. He's there it goes. Hey, yeah. I know you. You can't keep a good man down forever, That's can right. we? Yeah. I li would like to mention uh, that uh, we have Alf Hopkins there on the lob line, so the lob line is in effect for the for today's match. Yeah. Jimmy's been bowling 35 years. Must have started when he was three. Yeah, he hardly looks that old, does he? <laughs> oh, that's right. We got to say something nice about the guy. <laughs> uh, Jimmy's a real fine competitor. Yeah. You go a long way before you find a. A more competitive yeah. competitor, if I may be allowed to use that expression. That's right. Yeah. Again, I'm very pleased to see a, a nice crowd on hand, an appreciative yeah. crowd as well. Yes. Uh, see if Glenn can stay on that head pin as he <laughs> has been throughout this game. Oh, yes. Yeah, the real Get on nice that front nine pin, pin. They big really load go. on that uh, yes. nine pin break. We might uh, mention at this time that in this King of the Hill format, uh, it's, it's pretty well individual. Uh, it's completely individual thing, which is uh, something unlike oh, different than uh, you, you, really, you, you don't see too much anymore. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we thought we'd give it a try. Actually, we, we have to thank my daughter, Jennifer. 
Yes. The work She's that she has work. done for this is just phenomenal. And with yes. her, the great aid of Marty Dukes. Uh, yes. th 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 those two were there. Really Without those two there, we would not be here. The camera yeah. wouldn't be here. Mr. Neely wouldn't be up here from Cape Breton, mm -hmm. along with his friend, Mr. Best. <laughs> Uh, oh, back on that head really pin again. Yes, yeah, you, you just can't say yeah. enough about a that's right. ball that's on that head pin. It's got a nice style too, Norma. Yes. It's excellent style. Yes. Yeah. Nice three-step approach. Well yes. controlled. Beautiful. All his moves are controlled, and that's yeah. what any of the uh, YBC or AB, AYB bowlers at yes. home are watching. This is what right. we uh, really dwell with them is that footwork. That's where you yeah. got to start when you're right. when you're bowling. You got to yeah. start with those feet. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Nice respected 113 hand. 113 in the eighth. 113 in the eighth. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy might be down, but he's not out of it. No, he isn't. No. I think well, this is Jimmy's fall, first time on TV. I don't know if Probably. Jim's ever been on TV or not. He, has, he, no. he doesn't have Didn't anything down there here. about it. Uh, but I don't think he has yeah. been. Look, another spare. Oh, yeah. Like Lovely I said, that, shot. A, that was a beautiful Good shot. One, yeah. Oh, yes. He's not down. Yeah. He's not out yet. Jim's even got a few of the crowd here behind him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if Jimmy can load this up. Tommy off the head pin there to the left a little bit, paid the price. Yeah, Jimmy has a 418 triple and a 178 lifetime single. And those are respectable yes, numbers. Yes, they are. And one of those, uh, his 169, I believe, was to win our Paul Jones yes. for $350. <laughs> and I think when, when you do one yeah, of those, Yeah, that's you're, right. You really got to stick it. We're going to stop now for... Uh, we're going to stop now and just review the scoreboard here for a second, if I could hold a... Well, I guess Mr. Neely, you going to get right at it here, and, and I don't blame him. But anyway, he's 113 after eight, and Jimmy is 81. And those are really respectable scores. Uh, Jimmy's got his work cut out for him. Yes, he's got another... Another nine pin breakdown there yeah, for he's Glenn. Under that, he's under that head pin, and you yes. just can't say anything Surprises against guys on that, that head pin. Hasn't been more strikes. Yeah, really? Oh, and he, yeah. got, oh, I think he's kind of <laughs> crossed himself on that one, <laughs> which is part of the game. That's right. Which is part oh, of the game. Yes. You, you know, you, you get yes. some lucky breaks. That then, you, as you know, yes. uh, you'll hit a lot of shots that don't go. And they don't go. That's yeah. right. And you think, oh, what did I do wrong? Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 123 and open. He's going to have a nice, yes, respectable he certainly game. Is. And. Uh, the sad part of uh, Mr. Neely's, uh, Mr. Neal, I should call him Neely, Mr. Yeah. Neal's nice game is here, it ends here. It, he can't carry any pins That's on right. to the yes. next round. It's a whole yes. brand new ball game That's when right. he goes on to beat Laurie DeBay in, 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 in the next round. Uh, mm -hmm. And then whoever, the winner of that round will go on to meet Earl DeVoe. Earl DeVoe being mm -hmm. our top qualifier yes. in the B division. Mm -hmm. That's the 115 and under average. Yes. Oh, he kind of, well, he, like I say, he got the first one, and this one here, he, he more or less hit mm. that, and it did, uh, didn't quite go yeah. for him, so. That's right. I like this format. It gives the lower average bowlers a chance to get in there, too. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're kind of sorry. Uh, a nice hand there for his beautiful 139 score. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say there. But, uh, no, we would have liked to have had another category into it for those uh, bowlers, say, up from 105 down, which really don't have a, 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 the chance to get into this here. And, and yes. hopefully maybe one day we'll uh, look at pulling that one up. Yeah. Oh, poor oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, I think Jimmy's got a case of nerves. Well, his, nerves. His, uh, it, yeah. it, it, it's really going to yeah. uh, hurt him here, his chances of getting yeah. in. It's, it's impossible, I think, for him yes. to... Yeah. So all Jimmy can do now is be a true sportsman, get up That's there, right. throw his next box, yeah. and uh, have some fun. And he, right. <laughs> he is smiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's off the side again. And, and that's really, really the difference of the game. Oh, yes. uh, Glenn yeah. was on the head pin, and Jimmy has it. And again, oh, for, those, uh, yeah. for the, any of those young bowlers at home watching this, that is the part that's of your the game. Thing. We, we bring our kids here in here time after time and practice just hitting the head pin. That's right. <laughs> and it pays off. So there you yeah. have your our, our first splitter is Glenn Neal from Sydney. Yeah. And Jimmy Pitcher uh, will finish fourth. So he's in the money. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
So now we're going to have our Lori DeBay come onto the scene. Mm -hmm. And he, he's now going to go head to head with uh, Glenn Neal. Right. So we'll just see if Glenn Neal can, uh, can uh, do what Jimmy Pitcher couldn't. Can I get a little plug in here for our children? Okay, uh, be my guest. Probably people are wondering what this rabbit is doing sitting here. This is the, the mascot for the Bantam girls that bowl out of Big Shot Lanes. And I'd like to say how very pleased and excited we are that our Bantam team won the provincial championship on April the 13th. They are Shauna Perry, Wendy Fay, and Laura McNeil. And they'll be going on to Moncton, New Brunswick, to bowl in the Atlantic Youth Bowling Internationals on May 18th. Good luck, girls. And we're very proud of them. They, they worked hard. And, <laughs> and, and I might throw another little bit of it here. Uh, their coach is my respected co-host, Norma Hilche. And she, she stands a lot of the credit to getting <laughs> these little girls to go where they are. And they're, they're, they, they don't have to be any more prouder than they are right now because they won the regions, they won the provincials, and now they're going on and hopefully win those nationals. They threw the balls, Frank. They did it. Okay, so we could, uh, I guess, get, uh, in this case here, uh, Mr. Uh, Neil Glenn is the uh, the lower price finisher, so he's going to start it off again, uh, our first bowler, followed by Lori for our second. Do we need Lori? She here. Here's Lori. There we are. Okay, so we'll get Mr. Uh, Neil up and have him see if we can start off on that old head ten once again. Good luck to all our bowlers. Now we'll see if Glenn can continue this. Yeah. It's quite a streak. Oh, yeah, he's right back Look on that head. That. Ken, he's back. What, what can we say? Oh, it, it, it's, it's possible for, for Glenn in this format, yes. it's possible for him to go right, around, right, right home through. and win all the marbles. That's right. He could be the top, and even though he didn't finish first qualifier, That's right. he can take all the money home to Cape Britain with him. Yes, he sure We're can. We're going to try to keep some here, maybe. Oh, but we he, hope so. But it's, it's real nice to see these yeah. guys up. Uh, I, I just can't say enough nice things about these guys coming up to Cape Britain for our, for our program. And yeah. again, Jennifer said, said before, she's That's the right. one responsible. She was on that phone and she's sending her, uh, sending out her uh, flyers notices. and notices. <laughs> and oh, she, she's just been mm. too much. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're gonna have a double that, strike. A here, double right? strike. The big double strike. That's got to be intimidating for any oh. bowler coming up, eh? Yeah, L L Lori's <laughs> gonna be sitting there shaking yeah. his head. <laughs> yes. He hasn't said wow, but <laughs> yeah. I am. I know that. I'm yeah. impressed. Yes. I really am impressed. Now, Let's see what's now we have Lori DeBay. Uh, Lori bowls out of Pine Street and Baisley's, and he's been bowling 30 years. And uh, Lori's a police officer with the Halifax Regional Police Department. He's single. He is single, wow. Yes, he is. That'll turn a few heads here yes, in the crowd. Yes, that's right. And he bowls 112 average. Yeah, Lori's a well-respected yes, bowler, I might is. add. Yeah, yeah, he picked up a nice shot there. That was one of those shots I was mentioned for, a little bit of luck and yes. comes into your game, and it's yes. necessary. That's right. <laughs> And he's on the oh, head pin, and he is on yeah. that head pin. And it, oh, like I said, that, that, that is the big part of the, this game, is that being on that head pin. over there is just wiggling. It didn't come down. Yeah, giving a nine pin break. Yeah, he's, he's, got, a, he's got a minute make a spear shot there. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. I, I'd say that's kind of the, uh, where are you going to play that, on the seven he's pin? it over. No. Now he was he right, right out, where right, right, right where the two deadwoods That's were. That's just uh, where I would have <laughs> <played. laughs> got, got both those deadwoods with woods moving. Yes. Here I am stumbling here, but he got both those deadwoods moving, and, yes, and that's the did. important thing in a shot like that. Yeah. Well, he has a high triple of 430 and 179 single. That's Laurie's, isn't it? Yeah, yes. re well yeah. respected. Yes. Laurie's one of those bowlers that uh, he's, he, I don't think you could say that he's, uh, uh, every week goes out and is the top bowler, but he's one of those guys that hangs in there with a respectable average, and uh, he's always going to be there for a long yeah. time to come, and, and he's a credit right. to our game. Yeah. Say, we don't know too much about Glenn here, but we're learning a Boy, lot Boy, there's in Glenn, 40 in the uh, second. And, and, and again, yeah. I must be impressed with, with his footwork, with his follow-through. 
Yes. He has all the mechanics uh, in there, as did Lori, I might add. That's right. They we'll watch for that and Lori the next time That's it happens. Right. Yeah. And for any of those, uh, any of the, yeah. the, the kids at home that are being coached and learning the game, uh, that's one of the things where you really must get away on. Look on that head pin again. And a lot of that comes from the form, the style, the follow-through, yes. and, and the balance. Yeah. It's a matter of getting everything together. And right now, this, right. this young lad's got he it all together. It together. Yeah. This young lad's been bowling for 25 years. There. I don't know when he started, but it must have been yeah. early. <laughs> I, th I think some of the guys in our, our, our A division that, that, that won our uh, A division, the top, they're kind of glad maybe that uh, Glenn is back here in this division. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see what Laurie can do here. He oh, was on the head pin. Nice he was on the, oh, he got oh, a got lucky got break. A break. That, that, that old 10 pin yeah. fell for him. That, that, that ten pin, it can be your uh, nemesis and it can be your help a lot of times, yes. whether he stands or falls in those situations. And he just missed his mark there. But when you're looking at two, uh, three marks and four boxes, that, or, uh, yeah, oh, there he is. The third ball is always 10. easier, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> oh, Laurie's not old Chet. Yeah. Laurie can put them together. Oh, yeah. Like I say, he's been around a while yeah. and, and he's uh, yeah. right in the middle of the, the group there at all times. Again, he's just off that just head, head. a little bit. And yeah. And I don't want to repeat myself, but that head pin is the one we <laughs> aim right. for. Yeah. Oh. Now there was another. Is, oh. is it going to fall oh. for? Oh. <laughs> Fell the wrong way. Well, it was a crowd, uh, <laughs> crowd getting them off of their cedars yes. anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's Everybody a, was trying nice to. Respectable ten there. To grown that one down for Lori. Uh, Glenn is uh, 59 and open for four. Yeah. Uh, and, and Lori's 47 open for four. So Glenn again is uh, taking yeah. the early lead and, and Lori has to play catch up. That's right. On that he head is. pin. Right on that head pin. It's nice just like a bowling pin machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to thank Edith Curvin too for her duties of keeping score here for us today. Yes. And, uh, she could use another two or three inches on her shoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good oh, job we don't have a five format over there. She'd have to reach the top. Yeah, She'd really. Chair. Yeah. Well, I see Glenn missed that seven <laughs> pin break. Maybe he is human after all. Oh, yeah, right back There's into it. Oh, yeah, right back into it. Right. I've never seen this young lad bowl before. No, I haven't see. either. I am impressed. Yes. One uh, thing, uh, if, 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 if the kids at home, again, want to watch uh, Glenn's head movements, look how nice and steady and controlled it is. And yeah. that's why you can get those shots. Yeah. Glenn, right now, he has it all together. I don't know who taught him, but whoever did, did a one heck of a good job. Yes, along with again, natural just, talent. Just, the folks at home, just take a watch, look at his head. Look how nice and controlled it is. No, no bobbing look around, no flopping around. Here. And he's right on his mark. Boy, see ever. And I think you'll see a lot uh, in, in the same with with uh, Laurie here as well. Yes. Controls his body very well. Laurie takes that small step first, which I've been drilling into my bowlers. Yeah, it really helps. Pulls, uh, it, pulls it together. Yeah, especially if you have yeah. anybody going over the foul lines yes. and whatnot. That, that, yeah. That's where it's controlled is right there. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice shot there. for Laurie to base. Yes, good one. Nice shot. Yeah. Now, the thing for him to do here now is to set another mark here and, right. and, and, and give like Glenn, a uh, as I see Glenn sitting there on, on, on the bench, watching, oh. his, uh, watching the scoreboard there. And if he could see two marks in a row coming yeah, by Lori, because right. it, 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 pressure a is pressure. a part of this that's game, right. a big part of this game. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. There, yeah. there we go. Yes. Look at that. Excellent so, shot. That would have been a strike ball. That, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really would have. Yeah. And like I say, now. Glenn's up there, and, and but he's pretty cool and collected. I don't think it's going to bother him any. <laughs> no, I don't think he's feeling the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> he's open now. Right on that head pin again. Oh, yes. Now, my wife hears it at home. She's going to be after me for saying that head pin so many times. But what can you say? <laughs> that's, 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 that's the game. That's right. 
As you can see, these two are well-seasoned veterans. Oh, they are. Oh, oh look yeah. at another nice spear. Boy, I well, bet, if we were wondering if it was going to bother him and he's sitting on the bench looking at Lori's marks, <laughs> the answer is in front of you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't look like he has any butterflies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I'd like to just take two seconds here and something I should be doing all along here, and that's really thanking everybody that's responsible yeah. for putting the, the, uh, the businesses in the crowd, in the community that... Uh, Jennifer and Marty work with, uh, the reception yes. she got with them, the response, yeah. their support is just, just unquestionable. Yes, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. As I said, I could probably spend the whole afternoon here just thanking people. Yes, I know. <laughs> and there's yeah. another thank you another for spirit. Mr. Glenn. <laughs> Good Look meal. Look at that. One, two, three, oh, four, five, boxes, six, he's got six marks. marks. It's got to be hard on Lori. Yeah. He's got a strike. Yeah. Oh, he was right he on was his on front it, yeah. one. This is one thing when you yeah. when you get the experience as a great teacher of, is when these guys get behind, you, you don't see them getting up there and, and, and throwing gutter balls, so to speak. They, right. stay, they stay on their marks. Yes, they do. And uh, hopefully this is one of the things that we try to teach our kids. That they, the very first thing to do, they got to keep their heads together. Right. Yeah. Yep, he just missed that by yeah, a fraction. Yeah, because it's not over till it's over. Yeah. He's got three boxes left, and anything can happen yet. Yeah. Oh, we've seen it happen oh, in our yes. day, too. We've, yes. we've, we've well seen it take place. There, he's getting yes. another break. He's getting yes. another break, oh, yes. which is part of the game. Again, but a nice part of yes. the game. Lori's kind of looking this shot wood, over so. a bit. He's waiting for that wood. Oh, he's got a rolling yeah. wood. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking the other way. I, he's exactly. got a rolling wood there, and yeah. that's another thing for you kids at home. If you've got a rolling wood, you cannot throw the ball. Oh, oh I think we got yeah. a whistle there he on did. the... Only lost one, though. He only lost one. Yeah. Well, else on the job, anyway. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so that'll give him, a, what, a nine, eight, eight box for that yeah. one. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, Lori came up with the thing. 92 for 8 good, is respectable in anybody's game. So there is. he is at the, at the end of the 8. Uh, Glenn is 121 in open yeah. with a good load here. Another head pin. Another, hit. Hey, look at this. Oh, oh my. It's going to be Another this gentleman's day, I can tell Boy, you that. I think he's going to have 150 so, this one. Yeah, well, that gives him 130 <laughs> after 8 <laughs> compared with uh, Lori's 92. Very respectable 92. I should and revise another. that estimate upwards. <laughs> it's going to be more than 150. Yeah. 140 and open now. Well, there's his seventh mark in the game. Yeah. And this is what we want to see. We, we, yes. we want to see top-notch bowlers. The people, uh, the, the people out there in TV land, they want to see top-notch bowlers. Yeah. And, and, and this is what we need to, to give our game a boost. To, and and we, we are all here interested in That's the right. game of candle pin bowling. That's right. Look at that right on that. Yes, and did he get another break here? Yeah. Oh, he's got a split. Yeah. And as you see again, he's, uh, there's, there's no, uh, there was no hesitation in his manner. He's going through the same motions, the same uh, uh, manner, the head controlled. And he almost picked it up. And that's the reason why he almost picked it up. And you'll notice he doesn't throw an overly hard ball either. No, well controlled. Every, everything about his control, I'm well really impressed. Ball. And he's uh, very yeah. accurate. Yeah. I think I'm going to get a tape of this program and show it to our kids yes. afterwards. And uh, this is this is what we this is what we're trying to achieve them for. Yeah. Oh, oh Lori. Lori, right on that. Front As we one said that before, time. Lori's going to stick in there. Nobody's yes, going to send is. him home. That's right. He, he, yeah. he, when the last ball is thrown, then he's going to leave, but not yes, until. That's right. Oh, that was a rough break. <laughs> yeah, the, yes. the old Deadwood. Uh, yeah. They, you never can trust what it's going to do. That's right. Picks up his 10. Yeah, he picked up his 10. Yeah. Well, Lori's going to finish well up in the teens, so. Yes. Lori's been bowling for 30 years. Yeah. yeah. And it shows there. Yes, See him come, comes comes right back. back. Comes right back into yes. it. <laughs> oh, nice good. shot, Lori DeBay. Yes. 
Laura, you know, was a cousin, I think, to our uh, Carol Young. That our, Is he? The, yeah, the works here. Uh, oh, yeah. Who we couldn't do without. Who does all the good Oh, does all that good <laughs> cooking. Yes, sir. Yes, I think when we had a program before, I said it was the only bowling alley that you could get a real nice meal. Well, yeah, we, do, <laughs> we, we do thank you for that. Yeah. 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 Nothing. What did Lori end up with here? I can't, yeah, I can't get see either out of the way here now. And yeah. Glenn Neal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks, 157. Uh, Lori oh, DeBay, oh, Lori, five marks, 122. Beautiful score. And. Uh, Lori had one mark there that he uh, had a three on to it. Other yes. than that, he had s seven on one and, yes. and, a, and a ten on the, on the last one. And yeah. going down Glenn's scores there, he had uh, double strike. Yes. 23 on the first uh, double strike, 17 on the second one. And seven is the lowest mark he had on, 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 on right. all the scores. And, yes, and, and, wonderful. And that is really the Seven reason seemed why to he's be there. his lucky number on yeah. those marks. Yeah, and he ended with 157. And ended with 157. <laughs> now, Glenn is going to go on and, and, and meet Earl DeVoe, who was our top qualifier for the day. And, and all due marks to, uh, to Earl. He's a real good bowler in his own right. And uh, he bowls uh, with Laurie a lot. And, and uh, I'm sure he went to school on a lot of their shots. And yes. It's nice to see them up there, co cool and collected. And uh, I think we're going to have a real barn burner I finish so. here. Now, just before we get started in the bowling, I'd like to mention that the girls won't be the only representatives from Big Shot Lanes at the AYB Championships. Greg Cameron won the senior grads category, and he'll be rolling those balls on May 18th in Moncton as well. Congratulations, Greg. I think I know him, don't I? I think. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same last name. That's a, any hint to what's going to what yeah. take place here. Yeah. Okay, well, we get the scoreboard we set up here, and uh, Mr. Neal, again, uh, Glenn being uh, our fourth place finisher, he will have the honor of, of starting, uh, throwing the first ball, throwing the first two boxes, and, 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 and Earl will be there to answer them, and I'll tell you, he's got some uh, answering to do if, yes, if Glenn stays to where he has been. Uh, Yes. So I guess, if, if, unless you have anything to add no. here. Uh, well, Glenn has 114 average, and he's been thrown away over that. Yeah, he's really yes, been thrown away. Yeah. I don't know, we, we find that a lot here, Norma, that yes. uh, uh, people will come down, say, from uh, our centers in Sackville, uh, Windsor mm. come down here a lot, yeah. uh, Fairlanes in Halifax, uh, all the... Access cable come down here, and they do, they do an excellent job down in, in 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 this area. And we find that these bowlers, when they come down here, they throw big games. Yes, they do. And uh, we're glad to see it, really. And uh, this is the second time Access has been down here, and it's it's shown throughout the area down here. And we really hope to get coverage. Yes. And uh, well, I guess Glenn's kind of anxious to get going, so let's yeah. not hold him up anymore. That's let's right. get him at it. Yeah. <laughs> And as again, if you look at Glenn, he's holding that same cool yes, calm he that he started yeah. off, and that's why he's there. Lovely smooth ball. Ooh, yes, on. he's yeah. right in there. Now, you did notice that time that his follow through was just a little short yeah. of, of, of what the others have been, and, yeah. and that could be why that little yeah. break he got there is. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I'm telling you, this yeah, this, this gentleman close. is earning a lot of respect yes, here sure. today. There's a, the fans here know that this guy is is here to bowl. It's probably worth that five-hour drive and, up from yeah. the <laughs> and, 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 and there's the hand to appreciate yes, it. Yes, yeah. yeah. We have one very disappointed gentleman I know in our crowd today. That, well, he, as a matter of fact, I don't see him there, and that's Billy Cornelius. He got hurt in a, an industrial accident. At, at work, and he wasn't able to to make it. And, and nobody is suffering more than Billy. That That's I right. assure you. And he, yeah. he he loved being here. And I, I think yes. we you and I both know that he'd oh, be up yes. there he with sure the best would. of them. Yeah, I see his father in the crowd out there. Well, he's only a young man yet. Yes, he's, uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he missed yeah. the hit pin that time, Norma. Yeah. He really oh, did. He is human. <laughs> he is human. <laughs> I might say that that Carl uh, this year. 
won the jackpot in the Paul Jones down here with 164, wasn't it? Uh, 164, I believe it was, and he's, yes. and he's well, 87 years old. Yeah, we don't tell his age, oh. but it's somewhere around that. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> his birthday comes in July, and uh, <laughs> he's, he's been around a long time. A credit yes, to the game. And all the sure kids is. here really look up to him. Yes, you know, they do. Let's see what Earl can do now to answer. Glenn had a little bit of milder start this time, so maybe yeah. he left the door for, yes. for Earl to... Oh, he's off the head pin there. Yeah. The bit. I'm sure uh, uh, that Earl's been sitting there watching Glenn throughout the first three matches. Yes. And uh, things... Uh, Creates a bit of pressure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Not Earl only. is from Dartmouth. Uh -huh. And uh, so he bowls out of Baisley's and Pine Street. And he's been bowling 10 years. And he's a truss assembler. Oh, oh with hemmings, floors, and roofs. Oh, right on. Right yes. on. That's a... And Earl is single. Earl's another single oh, lad. Oh, boy, my gosh. there's a lot of these single guys out here, eh? Well, Earl started with seven. You know what they say after a seven. That's right. Always a mark. You always get a mark after seven. Now, Earl's bowling average is 113, so he's very close to yeah, Glenn's all, 114. Yeah, they're, they're all yeah, in they're that uh, range, yeah. Competitive. Yeah. Oh, off that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Off that good. Just pulled it a little. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to be a little tight. Now, I don't know yeah. if he was over there throwing a few uh, bef I don't know. before he come on or not, but if he didn't, he should have been I over didn't there hear loosening it up a bit. Okay. Earl's highest triple is 435. That's respectable in any yes. man's leg. And 179 single. I don't think I've had that high yet. <laughs> I haven't either. <laughs> And I'm not Carl Cornelius, so I don't know if I'll, <laughs> <laughs> if I'll reach that one or not. Uh, Glenn, uh, Earl started off with a 16 compared to a 20 for Glenn. So it was a yep. little milder start here, yeah. Yes. And for 600 bucks. Oh, it'll open up. When you start waving money in yes. front of uh, the eyes, uh, even the best. Old. Yeah, even the best. <laughs> but I am impressed with Glenn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my. Well. I it's see bound him, to happen, I, isn't I, it? I think he is taking a wee bit off the ball. Yes. I, I, I yeah. think we can see it there. Yeah. I oh, there. Back on the old yeah. hit again. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that magic is just there, and then other times when you can hit that front pin and yeah. you get a split every exactly, time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's a good nine. Good respect for yeah. the nine. I really want to thank XS for coming down here and, 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 and uh, doing the, the show for us. Because uh, it, it, it's uh, something for all the bowlers. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Yes. I know I've had uh, the folks at home there coming in here a different time. Uh, you know, when are we going to get the bowling on? When we gonna, and and when the, the bowling that we do see here, the XS uh, channels that uh, programs that are on the XS channel, uh, they're all appreciated and yes, watched by the general population down yes. here. Yes, they are. I say down here, but we're only 30 minutes away. Yes. <laughs> I know if I'm not home to watch them, I'm always setting the thing to tape so that I can yeah. watch them when I can. Yeah, exactly. I never miss them. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of folks that uh, in each division that didn't make the show today that showed up from uh, other areas around the province. Yes. And we have to thank all those, too, because yes. without those guys, there wouldn't be any program. That's right. Are you yeah. going to do this again, Frank? Hope well, they'll all come back again. But the way that... Uh, <laughs> that everything is going here, we'll, we'll, we'll show you. But it is a lot of hard work. Oh, Again, any of these programs you put on, you have, money just can't buy everything that, 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 that we put in front of uh, the people on these TV programs. And this is where Marty Dukes and Jennifer, their work has to be appreciated so much. Yes. The sponsors that, that yes. help them have to be appreciated so much. Oh, there's a nice shot by Earl. Mm. That boy is trying. Oh, now. he is. Yeah. yeah. Every time that I came in this bowling alley, Jennifer and Marty, they were at it. They've worked, look, doing just up literally the hours and, and hours. Yes. Jennifer was four o'clock the other morning there, doing yeah. things for the sponsors, yeah. and, and 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 she really appreciates the yes. the effort that they got. Now, mind you, there's a lot of doors to knock on. They, they, they don't get uh, favorable answers, but those right. ones that did, they yeah. are appreciated. Yeah. Let's see if Earl can get a mark going yes. here. We haven't had a mark this game yet. I've been here no. oh, yapping away dear. here and haven't really yes. watching the scoreboard. Yes. Yes, it's cooled off when you think of yeah. the other games were all marks. Yeah, well, again. <laughs> They'll come again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Earl has a very deliberate approach, too. I don't have the, uh, I can see the board over there, but my eyes can't quite uh, pick out what their qualifying scores were. No, I can't, I can't I, see I, I do see here. 142 there for Earl DeVoe was what yes. his, uh, mm -hmm. what got him into number one, yes. first place yeah. here. So we know he's capable yeah. of doing yeah. it, as are, as are all the bowlers in this division. Yeah. I well, say we started off this morning with uh, with 28 uh, bowlers uh, trying out, and uh, of, after the first round, five they bowled five strings to qualify, and after those five strings, the top 20 or top 14 then went on to a one-string roll-off, and then the top eight of that group went on to uh, cut it down to what we are here on on our TV program. Yeah. The scores right now are very close. 37 to 36. Yes, That's very close. Yeah. Yeah. Neil had a nice hit and hit that time, but yeah. just wasn't quite able yeah. to spare it up. Yeah. yeah. And he's loose up there. Oh, uh, yes. I think we'll Got see. Got a smile on his yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. I, I think we'll see the things to come yeah. here. And Oh, and the old my, punch the old out. Split. Yeah, the old <laughs> right down the middle. None of us like that, but you know it can be spared. I know what I do in this. I use it until the next two down the same <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now he went for the opposite side. I would have went for the other side. Well, he's a left-hander. Yeah. Oh, how could I miss that? <laughs> 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 yeah. They'll laugh at me when they see that one. Yeah. Won't they? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know for some reason I am partial to left-handed bowlers. I, I, uh, I'm partial to left-handed people. I have a husband yeah. who's left-handed. <laughs> and a daughter. And a daughter, yeah. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, you know, even you go into the uh, the big boys, uh, yes. Earl Anthony, he was yeah. one of the best, better bowlers in 10-pin, and yes. he's a left-hander. That's right. And, uh, I, for some reason, I... Yeah. Oh, Dang, there was a this. beauty. That Earl, was a yeah. beauty. Yeah. We're going to get a burn yeah. burner out of this. Oh. We're, we're going to get a burn burner out of this. I can, yeah. I can feel it. I hope yeah. for it. No matter yeah. who wins, as long as the, the right. game is played yeah. uh, good, clean, uh, good sportsmanship. Yeah. He's right oh, on it. Yeah, he was right there's on that. There's a first mark. Yeah. Yeah. That's our, yeah, that is our first That's mark our of the final mark. match. Yes. But we've seen this before on TV oh, matches. Yes. They could whereas, mark uh, you know, like, like Glenn uh, go on there, and then your, your final match. Be beat by one pin, 99 yeah. to uh, 98. That's right. Let's see. But what I, th I think we're going to have some. On this now. Yeah. Oh, he dropped oh. the ball there a little Just bit. We heard it kind of yeah. clunked the lane a little bit, and then and that's three, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what yeah. a try! I don't know the, the way uh, the way these guys bowl their styles. Uh, yeah. You see, Earl's very deliberate in his yes. footwork. He's very deliberate in his follow-through. Yeah. His head, yeah. as mentioned before. I think Elf no. might fall asleep on us over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> we might have he to call. He looks very comfortable. Yeah, we might have to call Livewire <laughs> to get him off the seat there, maybe. Yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> He's shaking his head over there. He knows yeah. we're talking about him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think you I think you'll notice that Glenn has taken out just a little bit yeah. off the ball there. Just a little off his front pin. Yeah. It disappears every now and then. Yeah. Yeah, he'll find it again. Oh yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. it was yeah. close. He, he, he's in there. Nice ten. Oh, nice lovely ten. ten. Yeah. Those single pins, those yeah. th those are the, the the pins that that make your game. If you leave those that's on right. the on, on the plate, many times they come back to haunt you. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And again, I always uh, it, tell the kids, pinners are winners. All pinners are winners. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There he is. Oh, he's back. Oh, yeah, he's, yes. He's gonna make a game of this yet. Oh, look at that wood. Yeah, he's six pins he's under, so a spare of six on, get him back up into the... Wood's not settling down. That's hard. Yeah. You have to 
play that front wood. He well, he got, he got that nose sticking. If we, if we could get that shot on TV, you can see that nose yeah. of the wood just sticking up over the gutter That's there. And yeah. That could haunt him. That's have to play. He has to play it, yeah. yeah. He played it, and, uh, and that's what I say about those, those little, those dead wood, you never know. That's right. Yeah. And back for a nice tap. Yeah. I think Earl can count himself lucky there. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably the happiest guy oh, in the house on that. Right. <laughs> but I shouldn't say that, because no one Earl, he's a true sportsman, the same that's as right. most of the, well, all of our competitors here yes. today. I think we saw a real display of good sportsmanship throughout. It certainly did. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm in such a thankful mood today. I'm even going to thank the guys that didn't get here today. Uh, <laughs> there was a bunch of them that, uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, there's quite a few guys uh, that had to work. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, the boys from Windsor uh, called in there, and as, mm -hmm. you know, they told Jennifer they were going to come, and then yeah. had to apologize just as early last night in this morning. Yeah. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Girls. You had a really good turnout, yeah. actually. Uh, I understand you had 48 bowlers. I've forgotten the final count now. No, no I think more than 50, 54, 50 I believe. Yeah. That many. That's uh, pretty good. You yeah. know, when the word gets around, you're going to have a lot more than that. Yeah, really. Another right. time. Okay. I think a lot of consideration is going to have to get into uh, looking after, uh, the lo as we're doing here, you know, okay, you, you got your bigger bowls, which you will see in the, on, our, on our next program, and uh, I'm sure everybody home is going to appreciate them. But without these guys in this division, you wouldn't have those wouldn't have guys in that division. You wouldn't have enough and, and, and then to there's, make it. Then there's the other yeah. people that are behind them that we didn't, That's we right. don't have a program for, and That's we, right. we got to try to do something for them too. I remember yeah. a guy uh, used to be president of our men's league here, a guy named Kenny Jollymore. I see him up there, so I'll mention. Yeah. Uh, his theory was, and it was a good one. Oh, come down! Yeah, yeah. You got it. <laughs> there you go. A <laughs> little bit of praying doesn't hurt. His, got theory, it. <laughs> his, his, his theory was a good one. You look after your lower bowlers first. Right. Because without them, you don't have your top bowlers. That's and, right. And, and a lot of, that's worth a million dollars, <laughs> kind it of advice is. like that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what Glenn can do here now. We yeah. know he's a... Oh. oh, right on that front one. Yeah. But, just but again, you can quick. see yeah. the, the follow through. He stops short. Yeah, and he's been bowling a few yeah. strings in a row here now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, uh... yeah. yeah. And that's how an air happens. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, <laughs> what a try. Yeah. But you get your big ones and your lower ones. Yeah. That's an average. No, I, I know uh, <laughs> a, a lot of the... A lot of the kids out there, they they talk to me about when I mention follow through, and it, it is a big part of the game, oh, it and it's a big part of teaching. Definitely. And uh, <laughs> my junior boys, as you know, we didn't quite make what you were mad, <laughs> girls did. Oh. We deserve our nose rub for it. <laughs> oh, well. And uh, But these boys work hard. Yes, they do. Yeah. And the dull, dreaded punch out. Yeah. Well, he's kind of... His work is cut out for him now. He is down six pins under. Yeah. Yes, and Earl's open Oops, when he gets up. Getting hurt. Yeah, Earl yeah. is open when he gets up. Yeah. So uh, I think Earl might be breathing a little bit. He might. <laughs> a little sigh of relief here, maybe. Yeah. But not to be done. Look, he, he st he's hung right in there. Yeah. Nice hand for a nice yeah. competitor. Excellent competitor. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. He will take home second prize money. Well. Oh yeah, he'll take home second prize oh, money for oh, that. That's right. uh, yeah. Barring the building falling down on Earl, he. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, right on right the head, in there. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's that competitive he instinct. Yeah, he, when he, he got loaded the that chance. Up. Yes, he really did. Yeah. And he's showing why he finished first overall in the in, in, in the elimination rounds. That's right. Oh, he that was close. There. Yeah. You never know what's going to yeah. happen on that wood. Actually, Earl, Earl has it in the bag now. Yes, yeah. Glenn come up with a 92. Oh, yes. I know he yeah. wish he'd go back into that 157 yes. or a few pins. Bet. We can't yeah. allow that, unfortunately. Uh, yes, that's true. Yeah. Actually, I think another person, we, another group of people we should thank will be the ones that come back to the next one. 
That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. there. He's on his front He's going to go up with a nice yeah. game. He's he going to show us. Yeah. So Earl is going to pick up the 600 bucks for his efforts today, and that's a pretty good day's pay. Oh, I guess it is. I've forgotten what the other program. I think it's four, uh, four, two, and 150 go to the uh, other oh, competitors. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, if we want to follow down our scoreboard, Norma, uh, just good. give us a. Yeah. So okay, um, Glenn Neal, he he pinned well, looking across that board. He didn't have anything lower than an eight. He just didn't get the breaks that time, and that's he right. ended up with a 92 with no mark. You can't do much if you don't get the marks. You know, 92 is certainly respectable. It certainly is. Yes. And uh, Earl DeVoe started with a seven, and they always say, you know, after a seven, you get a spear. Yeah, uh -huh. So anyway, Earl came along with two spears, and he didn't load the first one very much, but he certainly put a good load on the second one and ended up with a 104, which was good enough for first place. Yeah, and I think you have to realize too, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the program, when you get into the final match like that, uh, you usually don't run those great big scores. That's so right. I think if we just wound this one up here and uh, we thank all the, the, the participants, we'll uh, congratulate Earl DeVoe and the rest of the winners. Everybody's winners, but uh, we'll just call it a day for now and we we'll hope to see everybody back on our next program. Well, I want another thank you in here, beans we're thanking everybody. A big thank you to Frank and Marty Cameron for their great support of the AYB program. All that practice time. Without them, these wins wouldn't have happened. Okay, I'll get even with you on the next program, <laughs> then, on the top one there. Thank you very much. Thank you.